Hey guys, good evening. How is everybody? Yes, I still feel like shit. So tonight's won't be as long as it normally would be on a Tuesday. And, you know, hey, everybody gets sick here once in a while. But, you know, I got to tell y'all, it absolutely slays me. The lengths to which Dumbwaiter's fat ass will go to lie to his people for clickbait. <clears throat> It's you'll see what I'm talking about in just a minute, but hey, and of course, Miss Kimmy was first today, and Scott Farming, good to see you. Hey, top of the morning to you there, Mickey Irish, Michael Wyatt, welcome back. And we have a new member among us, Fat Gamer Falcax. All right, well, I appreciate your faith in me there, Fat Gamer Falcax, and it, with the utmost pride, I tell you this. Welcome to the Roughnecks. Uh, I know that Miss Casey donated a Fraud at Wrangler membership, but it did not show up on this side. And uh, I want to tell her thank you. And I don't know who wound up with hers, but whoever that lucky individual is. Welcome to the Roughnecks. Yes. Hey, Herman Turrington. What's up, brother? Left turn. Good to see you. All right. Got a couple for the Michael Army. Michael Wyatt, Mike's Orange Jumpsuit. Welcome back. Hey there, Gene Sasada. How are you and your granddaughter Isabel doing tonight? And our sister to the north, VOP. What's happening, darling? And Mikey, Mr. Meaner Jones is in the house. What's up, my friend? Hey, sis. What's up there, Miss Dixie? Grumpy's better half. It's good to see you. There's Miss Isabella Sasada. Bruce McWhorter. Good to see you, pal. Larry D. Fierro. Welcome back. Don Curtis. Welcome back, ma'am. Same to you, Dragon Lady Gifts. Good to have you ladies with us. Hmm. Alex Douglas. How are you today, sir? How is Miss Elizabeth doing? Give her a big hug from us. John Corey, welcome back, sir. MC Dillagaff, great to see you, my friend. Nova Photographics, how you doing, brother? James Baker, how are you? Trucker 70, CDL holder, what's up, pal? And Edie Marie, that's Mr. Meaner. Good to have you back with us, man. Hey, Chino Nino, how are you? Giggles, great to see you, my friend. It was me, I'm the imposter, damn meddling kids. Welcome back, my friend, how are you? Luddy Luciano, welcome back. Electric Glide 28, what's up, brother? How are you? Hmm. Jeff Clark, welcome back, sir. There's Miss Casey with a C. How are you doing, sis? Ernie Rutherford, welcome back, sir. Miss Tammy Tionki, great to see you, ma'am. Jennifer Rowell, good to have you back with us. Hey there, Mike Card. How are you? How are things in Nova Scotia, isn't it? WWRWD. What would Ray White do? Well, unlike Dumbwaiter, Ray White would do the right thing. Hey there, Aubergine77. Welcome back. David Anton. How are you, sir? Miss Linda. How are you doing, ma'am? Blue Star, welcome back. Cause Wrangler said I could, you damn straight. Welcome back, my friend. Hmm. Firefighter 936, what happened to you today? Everything okay?
Nickel for a pickle. I want a refund. What's up there, retired Nana? Good to have you with us. Hey, Grandma Wolf. Welcome back. Kentucky Shady Lady, it's great to see you. Hey, Miss Dawn Furman, how are you and Scott today? And Miss Joe Ann Hammerschmidt, welcome back, ma'am. King Pokey, Masters of Railroads. Hey, buddy, you go get some rest, man. I hope that Mar goes great for you. Let us know if you need anything. Hey there, Topsy Turvy 232. How are you doing? Hey, Larry McGowan, what you know good? Cynthia Karen Shaw, welcome. Hey there, Joe Lolo, how are you? Mm. Simon Cumbria, hope you're having a good week so far. Broken Bones, what's up, brother? <clears throat> How's your Tuesday, Kentucky Shady Lady? Your name is going on the LOL suit, also known as Poster 7 Misconception, Elbay. What's up, brother? Marine Corps Girl 90, how are you tonight, Miss Devil Dog? And then we went ahead and threw three down, and they went to, let's see here. They went to Mom and RL, Texas Man Law Dog, Monkey Ass, Bunny Finn, and Down South 225. And all five of those men and women, I'd like to go ahead and tell them. Welcome to the Roughnecks. Absolutely. Hey, Paul Robinson, how are you doing, sir? Scott Feltner, welcome back. Hey, Miss Victoria B. Alan Hunt, good to see you, brother. Patsy Sobrera, welcome back, ma'am. Hey, Princess Sophia, great to see you. Miss Nightman's wife, how are you doing? Kenny Davers, good to see you. That's right, Herman Turrington. Hey, Gustav Mahler Jr., good to see you. Trace the Hammer Jones, what's happening, my friend? Tom Williamson, welcome back. Hey, Miss Sherry Ward, how are you? Sir, Stewie Griffin, Esquire, L. Bay. Chili's Commissary Food Manager. That's probably going to be one hell of a tiny budget. Hey, what's up there, father and son off-road? Welcome back. James Alice Shires, good to see you. Back to madness. Uh, yes, fact to madness. That would be Kaiju Kid Comics L. Bay. Hey, Freezy and Mom, welcome back, man. Mr. Mimsy, good to see you. And Brother Ben C. in lots. What's up, my man? Give the missus a big hug for me and Miss Kimmy. Hey, Alan Carr. How are things on your side of the pond? And Miss Trixie, welcome back. Hey, aloha to Moak Bus Driver. How are you doing? Miss Dorothy Reed, welcome. And hey, are you doing there, Miss Becky? How are you, young lady? Creighton Rabs, welcome back. General Towles, welcome. What's up, James Reedy? Good to see you. Hey there, Miss Candace. Welcome back. Kenny, good to see you. How you doing, my friend? And Miss Nancy Newhoff, welcome back. Granny V, welcome. I know, I'm impressed. Good work. What's up there, Peter Kick? How are things in the Azores? Hey, Miss Canadian girl. Welcome. Stephen Major. Good to see you, bro. How are you? Mm. Jerry Martins. Welcome. How are you, sir? And one of our baby sisters, Miss Glam Girl. Good to see you, ma'am. Shellback. Good evening. Welcome. Hey, what's up? There's Scott McCray. Welcome back, buddy. And top of the evening to you, Irish Dublin. How are you? That's pretty much where I'm at. And Booger McGee. All right, Kool-Aid stirs in the house. What's up, buddy? And Miss Casey with a C has been a member now for six months. 
says, love all my roughnecks. Absolutely, ma'am. And we thank you so much for that. Hey, Steve Jones, what's shaking? Stephen Major, welcome back. Hey, Remington Lossman, good to see you. Hmm. Topsy Turvy, how are you doing, my friend? P.S. I adore you. Welcome back. Uh, hopefully it won't be much longer, Miss Dawn Curtis. What's up there, Kason? Welcome. Janet Nolding, good to see you, ma'am. Victor Childress, how the hell are you? And everybody, Broken Bones has been a member for six months now. And he says, put a one in the chat if you think Dumbwaiter will never provide proof. One. Thank you for being here, Broken Bones. And uh, Herman Turrington has gifted a Fraud at Wrangler membership. And it has gone to Heinrich Jensen. Thank you so very much, Herman. And truly, truly appreciated. And Mr. Jensen. Welcome to the Roughnecks. Oh, damn, that almost... Oh. That would have been bad. Now, Michael's not thinking straight. He almost ended the damn stream. Uh, hey, me first. Welcome back. Chuck Fury, good to see you. There's our favorite aviator. What is up, Marty Taylor? I know it, Lisa Froman, and thank you. Uh, good, just... uh. Just, uh, damn, flu, head cold, whatever it is, just kicking my ass. Anthony Stacy, welcome back. Hey there, Connie DeLeon. Pez GTO, good to see you. Tarek got my wrangle shit. Good to see you, man. Hey, Miss Winbrew. No, I, I didn't. No, we were waiting on you, man. Hey, JC Landry, good to see you, man. Hey, Miss Isabella Hondo. Great to see you. And everybody, Fat Gamer Falcax has donated a Fraud at Wrangler membership. And it's gone to Paul Morrow. Awesome. Thank you so much, Fat Gamer Falcax. It really does mean a lot to me. And Mr. Paul Morrow. Welcome to the Roughnecks. Definitely. Oh, hello, John Bull. Welcome. Clears 212, good to see you. Hey, Mark RN40, how was our Wrangler Cult Medical Officer tonight? Cast Graphics, good to see you, Battle. How the hell are you? Lisa Froman, <coughs> seven months, huh? I can't even believe I've been doing it for seven months, let alone a little more. Hey, Dr. Jive, welcome back. Hey, C. Chess, good evening. Hey, Bob Rutherford. Yeah, no shit, man. Absolutely, I'd love to find one of those. Critter number three, good to see you. Southside Memphis, welcome back. Kentucky's View, how the hell are you? What's up there, Mama C.? Perfect Haven, welcome. Uh, KCAT1031, welcome back. Non-public forum, good to see you again. Hey there, Casey K, welcome back. Sky God 104 how have you been? Nerd Girl Jim's World, how the hell are you doing, man? Skajold, welcome back. And Miss Winbrew for one ninety nine says, "I cannot believe you started without me." No, we were waiting on you. I promise, we were waiting on you. No, nah, how are you Tuesday, man? I would ask if you read any good books lately, but that would be kind of redundant. Uh, 
official Mr. Conduct, welcome back. Uh, check your email, firefighter. Miss Chris Clark, welcome. Well, I appreciate it. That was a, a present for my baby. Hey, law talk and debunking. How are you doing, man? Telly O'Neill, welcome. How are things in Calgary? Dwight Butler, good to see you, buddy. Dragon Lady Crafts, well, I'll be able to give you a play-by-play, -play, but can't give you a video. Well, till the judge okays it. Hello, Paré Foré, how are things in Montreal, my friend? Ted Gibson, welcome back. How are you? Hey there, final girl. Good to see you, man. Christopher Ryder, 1998 imposter. Welcome. Are you the real imposter? Mm. Hey there, Stormy. How are you doing? I'm glad to hear that, Paul Robinson. J Dog, what's shaking, my friend? Dumb waiters imposter, welcome. Now, yeah, now Chili wants fifty grand, dude. Then you know that damn commissary Nutella just getting expensive. Hey there, Sue Kunda. welcome back. I will do my best, Billy Fenderson. Welcome. What's up there, Jack? How are you? Bad Moon Rising, welcome. Miss Donna Marie Souza, good to see you, ma'am. How are you doing? GYST122, thank you for being with us tonight. Miss Angel Boostar, welcome back. Uh, Firefighter936 for $5 says, Frauda Wrangler, can you shine some light uh, as to what I missed this morning? I'm seriously lost. I don't follow. Uh, yeah, I sent you an email this morning, buddy. It's no biggie. We'll, uh, we'll get together in the morning. Hey, you're fine, man. Everything's all good. Hey there, Rick Ray. I'm sorry, Rick Ruh, welcome back. Shellback and Granny V, how are y'all? And Billy Fenderson slaps down a $9.99 super sticker. Thank you so much, Mr. Fenderson. And thank you for being here. Mike Hatfield, welcome. Well, we're glad that you're you're here with us, sir. There's Paul Mora. Outstanding, Paul Moore. And Ms. Valerie Michelle has been a member for four months now and said, I love my Roughneck family. I'm honored to be a Wrangler cult member. Keep up the great work, Wrangler. Proud of you. Thank you. That really means a lot, Ms. Valerie. Thank you very much. Mm. And Lisa Froman has... Good as her word, been a member for seven months now. And I really appreciate you being here, ma'am. Thank you. There's Mom and RL. Welcome back. Huh. Well, we will look into that, Nightman's wife. What you know good there, Creighton Rabs? Josh himself, welcome back. A 
Lois Peterson, our Wrangler Cult Trauma Nurse. Welcome back, ma'am. Hell Mad Koala, good to see you. Hey, Flower Power, what's shaking? There's Zork Master. Oh, uh, we'll get there in just a minute. He did not get the news, Zork Master, that he was looking for. <laughs> hey there, flying the lotion. How are you doing tonight? Absolutely, Miss Valerie, Michelle. Michael O'Brien, welcome back. Hey, Society Red, how are you doing, my friend? Taz, good to see you. Yeah, you damn right. Tell them, Nancy Newhoff. Phone guy for $5 says, I just wanted to make a shout out to anyone in Hardin County. I was born there. I think you'll probably have a few friends in here, phone guy. And thank you so much. <clears throat> Karen, but not a Karen, welcome back. Michael Lewis, welcome. And Billy Fenderson slaps down a 9.99 super chat and says, "Keep up the good work." Well, thank you very much, sir. In fact, Gamer Falcax has been a member for three months. Says, "Pound per pound, this is the most generous channel and chat on YouTube." Wrangler, thank you for everything you do. It's much appreciated. Well, without you guys, Fat Gamer Falcax, I wouldn't be able to do it. Thank you, brother. Hey, Fire Missile, what's up, brother? Taz, how have you been, my friend? 98HKG, good to see you. FPS rejected me because I'm not bald. Yeah, you're probably better off over here, though. Hey, stranger, what's going on? Oh, is Chrissy big trigger? Nah, it sucks for him. Maybe if he'd start acting like a grown man at some point instead of a little girl, then he'd be okay. Hey, KMMB, how are things in South Carolina, my friend? And Michael Lewis for $2 says, Texas barbecue is amazing. Well, here's what I'm going to let you in on a little secret while you're here, Mr. Lewis, is that you will find just about every state each tries to claim that title. So you might just have to go to every state and then give your opinion. Hey, Martin Enberg, welcome back. Hey, Little Dickens too, how are you? Non-public forum, welcome. There's Hellfire 28, 24, sorry. Huh. Hello, everybody. Wrangler. Oh, Where'd sorry about that. <laughs> How are you today? Ah, been a hell of a day. Has it? Yeah. Mm. I got to tell you, I really, I, I was just absolutely, he lied so much in like 17 minutes. Dipshit went live. He went live this afternoon. Lied off his ass about his hearing. I guess you're going to have to catch us all up on this. 
Yep. Uh. You know, I did notice something. Now, this is supposed to be the front door, right? To his right? I mean, it has a dead boat on it. I mean, it looks like an yeah. exterior door, yeah. Well, why has he got pillows and blankets and sheets stacked up to the damn doorknob? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, anyway. What's up, guys? I gotta. I'm using the GoPro for this, so I gotta hang tight. I have to check it and watch it just like you guys do. So bear with me. We're gonna be talking about uh, today's Hardin County court case when we get in here. Well, where's it at? Lots of people in here. So I'm, I'm just like you all, I'm watching this on here. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't have uh, the ability to do a thumbnail. Let me change that angle just a little bit. Uh, didn't have the ability to do a thumbnail with with using this device. Um, <laughs> press harder, the armchair rocker, Mama Bear, Sarah, Anthony, why? Um, so <clears throat> I had court today. Had court today. Um, what's up, Tim, STD, and Cap? If I keep saying hi to everybody, it's going to take a long time. We're not going to do that, but I do say hi to everybody. Really? Because my people are worth taking the time for. Um, so there was court. It was a surprise hearing. That was weird. Uh, I did a live stream about it yesterday, um, but it ended up getting taken down because um, apparently – YouTube does not understand public records. And I showed some some Alabama public records yesterday and uh, fought at a uh, watch, uh, got his feelings hurt, and he went and did a bunch of false reporting. So anyway, uh, that video is down, but this one's up and um, we're going to talk about it. So uh, it was on Zoom and it was a surprise hearing. I had no idea it was coming. And then I actually got notified the day before. So I was notified on Monday that I had court on Tuesday. <laughs> uh, but really? Now, y'all tell me, does it seem like that he seems a little scared and nervous there? Yeah. I mean, that's what it seems like. Oh. <laughs> uh, My cat Phil has slapped down a ten dollar super sticker. Thank you so very much, Mike. We and I'll tell you what, JJ. We have definitely started a Mike army in this place. There is Mike. Yes, yes. Thank you so very much, Mike. Uh, David Anton for one ninety nine says, "Oh, good. Chrissy is going to tell us the truth." Not. Nah, that was good. That was good, David. And this Elizabeth McClemon, our Scottish princess, for 10, what's that? Uh, sorry, y'all, I'm about brain dead. For 10 says, hey, Roughnecks, you guys made me so proud to be part of the family. Wrangler, please take care of yourself and do what Miss Kimmy says. Two hours, mister, or else. All right. Yes, ma'am. I'm not getting my ass whipped from across the uh, pond tonight. So, yes, ma'am, I will I will do what I, I'm told. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so, any questions before I go, you know, as part of this so that, you know, he doesn't try to hit me with a bullshit uh, uh, copyright strike? Any, any questions? <laughs> That's good, Chris's limp gimbal elbow. All right. Hey, Strange Luck 790. Of course. But we made it. <clears throat> so um, that's where we're at. 
I did that at, at my attorney's office and I do have a recording of it. Um, let's see. Let me give you all some information. <clears throat> so. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Did you get permission from the judge to record it? <clears throat> but let me ask you this. Wouldn't it be easier instead of somebody trying to give you third party information? Just if you got the video, just play it. That's what I would think. I mean, it seems easier that way, don't it? That's yeah. I mean, I would think so. Hey, Janet J. Well, we're off to a good start. Yeah, right. Hey, Matt Todd, what's up, Indiana Roughneck? Uh, the court records have been sealed, and it is not due to corruption. Well, wait a minute. Maybe it is due to corruption. It is due to that. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready to find out exactly why they actually sealed uh, my 1998 alleged marijuana case records? You don't have an alleged case. It's not alleged, jackass. You were convicted. And maybe if you hadn't run from the charges for a quarter of a century, you might have could have appealed it. But carry on. You're doing good. Please put a one in chat if you're ready to hear why the judge said that he sealed those records. Or you can take some guesses. I'm reading chat. So y'all can guess if you want. Whatever you want to do. There's a little bit of a delay between this recording, this style recording, and and what you're seeing. Hey, Chris, have you got a comb over? So, um, yeah, so the records were sealed. And the reason is because J.J. Scarborough from Meade County, the elected official from Meade County, uh, was making requests for that information and then disseminating it to the public illegally. Whoa! Now, I just want to be sure that I heard this right. He said those words come out of the judge's mouth, huh? Yeah, but the problem is, is, you know, I'm sure you're shocked to hear this, but seeing as how I also had somebody in that courtroom today taking notes, guess what? Your name never came out of the judge's mouth. Not one time. Now be sure that you clarify. Out in the foyer, out in the lobby, outside well, the courtroom. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was calling the gallery that's got the the TV right there that you can see what's going on from the hallway. Yes, but the judge <laughs> never said your name not one time. Not one. Mm -mm -mm. Freezian mom for four ninety nine says, "Has Dumbwaiter done a video since court? If not, he must not be happy in figuring out how to spin it." Well, actually, this is the video he did after court this afternoon. Freezian mom. Mm mm mm. So that is why the judge did it for me um, to stop people like Scarborough from sharing my private information, which has already happened. So um, first of all, he really, did he really just say that? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Welcome back, Izzy Shoemaker. Bums, welcome. Uh, Michael Lundovich. Damn, dude. I just, I couldn't believe he's that damn stupid. <laughs> hey, Aunt B, bookie worm. Oh, my Lord. It, yeah, that's what it sounds like to me. Hey, my brother's keeper, what's up? Oh, my Lord. This is uh, just... I mean, does he really just need views that badly? Well. Hello, William Anderson. Cat's lair. I mean, wow, dude. I've, I mean, I've heard him say some dumb shit 
actually in anything he's ever put up. But he's like going to a whole nother level with his shit now. Well, Walter, I got to tell you, every time I think I figured out just how stupid Dumbwaiter is, he goes and climbs that bar every time, man. Every time. Victor Childress, everybody, has been a member for two months now. He says, DW hasn't got the good sense God gave a dog to get out of the rain. Yeah, I won't disagree with that. I, I won't. And we do appreciate it, Victor Childress. One of these days, I'd love for him to produce some evidence. But you know what? I'm sorry. Y'all have to bear with me. This is just such a good screenshot. It's one of his smarter looking faces. Uh, you know, I'm sure if the judge, if you watch this later, thank you, Mr. Reed. I much appreciate that. Um, and we will be taking further legal recourse against Scarborough for that in the future. First, he slanders you, and now did he just threaten you? And with, and with some legal recourse, yeah. <laughs> oh my Jesus! Oh. James Conway for one ninety nine says, "Was it Zoom hearing or in person?" It was a Zoom hearing. <laughs> Thank you, James Conway. David Anton for 199 says, JJ, it was not you. It was an imposter. You can That's right. That. That's right. That's true. Dumb waiter <laughs> is never ending, dumb ladder. That's good, Mike Card. Oh, my Lord. He just... Keep doing dumb shit. Fortunately, this is a really, really short process. one, guys. So, uh, that being said, that's why the records are sealed. It's not anything weird other than that. It is exactly what we thought. It is because there is a Meade County public official who has been doing records requests for my private information and then disseminating it uh, on his YouTube channel. I don't think so. If anybody can bring me one open record request, and I'm mean, and I'm and I'm not going to say this just for this particular case, but if anybody in the United States can bring me a copy of an open record request that I have ever done on anything at all, anything at all, please bring it. I got ten thousand dollars for each copy of an open record request somebody brings me. I've never done an open record request for anything, nothing. Well, you know, that's, it's kind of funny that he mentions that. That if that were the case, if somebody in their official capacity were violating his rights, the judge would have dismissed the case, right? Could have, yeah. I mean, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so, dumb waiter. Don't waiter, do you want me to tell all of them why your case has been continued? Come on, Chris. Come on up, man. I've unblocked you. Come on up. The reason, everybody, his case is continued is because now they're looking at him for perjury, the way I understood it. Hmm. Exactly. Which is highly illegal, um, and it will be resolved. What's highly illegal? Is he saying that you having a YouTube channel would be highly illegal? Let's say that me having a YouTube channel was illegal. I still don't have a YouTube channel. Exactly. But it's not illegal, just, you know, for the record. Absolutely. And I mean, yeah, Chris ain't gonna bring his bitch ass over here. If if I need to, I'd probably call DUI down and get on there and he'd probably explain the legalities of if I did want to have a YouTube account. That's true. And I'm sure it unlike Dumbwaiter, DUI guy knows a little something about the law. 
And Miss Peggy Beach has slapped down a two ninety nine super sticker. Thank you so much, Miss Peggy Beach, and it is greatly, greatly appreciated. No problem, Miss Judy Johansson. Welcome back, man. He should have just quit a long damn time ago, but he can't afford it. Because here's the thing. He already knows, that guys, that worst case scenario, he's going to go to prison or jail. He's going to get locked up in due time, and he knows this. So right now, he really doesn't have anything to lose. So he's right now trying to do two things. He's trying to keep his numbers up to eat. And he's trying to keep numbers up as much as he can and eBay as much as he can so that he can pay all the damn attorneys that he owe because he does not qualify for public defenders. So he's trying to stay fed. He's trying to stay out of jail. And Elizabeth McClemon has thrown down and gifted a Fraud at Wrangler membership. And it has gone to FUMS, F-U-M-S. Thank you so much, Miss Elizabeth. It is greatly, greatly appreciated, our Scottish princess. And to FUMS. Welcome to the Roughnecks. But let's let him, I mean, it's not like he's going to be doing any worse for himself. Hey, Battle Wolf Noir Gaming. Now, uh, you probably want to know what happened today, right? Are you, oh, we're loading. Is it happening to anybody else? Well, that shouldn't be happening. What, McDonald's such a change delay, your damn Wi-Fi password, Chris? Is this a problem for you guys or not? Are y'all buffering? No, okay. I'm not buffering. So, uh... Hey, We're going to wait <laughs> until you all watch uh, before you're going to find out the end result. But I will tell you a few of the factors that went on today, <clears throat> and it's ridiculous. <laughs> so uh, the state <laughs> doesn't have a case because it wasn't me. We've already established that. But here's the thing. The state doesn't have to make a case because you pled guilty in 1998, you moron. You being guilty is a matter of public record. Right or wrong. He pled guilty to the weed in 1998. It's not a, the, the, the state doesn't have to prove anything. You're not being tried for the weed in 98. You were already tried for the week in 98, and you're guilty. How do we know you're guilty? Because you pled guilty. Just like you did with the women you've beat down. Just like you made that deal to pay the, what was it, five grand cash to the woman you ripped off in that home improvement scam in Indiana? Bitch, don't ever act, dumb waiter, like we don't know everything about you. Ten ways till Sunday. The prosecutor is relentless. Like he will not give up. He will not just accept the fact that it, he didn't have a case. Your guilt is a matter of public record, you moron. Your guilt of that case is a matter of public record a quarter of a century ago. Right or wrong, JJ? That's right. Because he pled guilty in the 90s. He's having to deal with this now because he didn't complete his sentence. And he absconded the jurisdiction for nearly a quarter of a century. That's why he's dealing with this now. Fucking idiot. It should have never been prosecuted. Uh why not? So, JJ, is there a difference between skipping out on probation a quarter of a century ago and escaping from lawful custody at a jail for a quarter of a century? No, it's all the same. There's no there's no time limit where they just throw it out the window and say, oh, well, good try. 
That's kind of what I was thinking on that. Uh, Alex Douglas has donated a Fraudit Wrangler membership, and it's gone to it went to Cricket Mayor. Cricket Mayor. Thank you so much, Mr. Douglas. And good job taking care of Miss Elizabeth. Cricket Mayor. Welcome to the Roughnecks. Absolutely. Um, so he's having troubles dealing with that. <clears throat> and in there Oh, so the case was dismissed, huh? At, he's still streaming. There there might be more, there might be more, there might be something. Well, there's not ever gonna be anything because it, it wasn't me. <laughs> and the records that would have no, re whether it was you or not, Chris, is irrelevant. The relevancy went out the window in the fucking 90s. The purpose, correct me if I'm wrong, JJ, but the purpose of the hearings that he's having in Hardin County right now regarding this isn't what about his guilt or innocence. It's about right. whether he violated his probation or not, right? No, he, no. No, actually, technically, that's why he had the 30 days in jail, because originally back in whatever time error that was, he was already sentenced to 30 days in jail. Now the argument is whether or not it's him or not. So no, oh. actually, the 30, actually, the 30 days is already there. He's already had a probation hearing, and his probation was obviously revoked, and he was already sentenced to 30 days in jail. That's the best that I can I can find from what I, and what I've seen. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. have established who ever it was in the original case they destroyed and that go, that's against the retention schedule so i'm the first person in the world who demanded those records the the ones that would identify whoever the culprit was i'm the first person that asked for those records which is one of the reasons that I think this is a case of manipulation of records, because why would all of the portions of the same record for the same case, which is open and under retention schedule rules, why would just the portions that would identify the individual be destroyed? And then the rest of the records be available. Why would you do that? Unless it was corruption, unless it was manufactured or falsified. Oh, and um, you have I, evidence I to back this up. Hey, hey, Wrangler, I think there's some word salad and manipulation here. There's a difference between missing and destroyed. At least he was able to pronounce it this time. But he's not going to understand that. Uh, yeah, I've got a bunch of them from 99, uh, Nova. Now, the ones I have from 99 is where he pled guilty to beating the shit out of a woman and putting a gun to her head. Yeah. And, yeah, right, Trevor, on it. And actually, right. what I mean by that, somebody actually put in the chat, what do you mean by that? Well, he says that somebody destroyed the records. To the best of my understanding, they're just missing. And actually, they're not just missing like one day, one case, one week, one court hearing. They're missing a large sum of them. They've actually misplaced them or they've done something with them. But there's no record of any. There's no record of records being destroyed. And whenever you destroy records under the record retention policy, you have to have a record of destroying the records. I know that's a whole lot of records, but, <laughs> but yeah, you actually got to have records of the records you're destroying. So, uh, which I don't know if anybody can imagine the size of the warehouse or how much paperwork that is, but you take all the records from 120 counties in the state and you put them in archives in one building. 
-hmm. And we're talking some of these records actually have to be held on to, depending on the record, the case, so on and so forth. Anything up from 20 years to 30 years to 99 years, you know, depending on if it's a murder case or, or just depending on what it what is actually it is. So, yeah. I mean, we're talking a lot of records. Uh, mm -mm -mm. But I mean, well, that's what's but, making but, me laugh is I, mean, I don't think anybody dressed up in ski masks or like black ninja uniforms. And sometime in January of 2023, I don't think that they went to Frankfurt dug through, you know, probably a half a million files and cardboard boxes and actually just pulled out three or four pieces of paper and maybe a videotape and like stuffed it inside her ninja suit and like, you know, shimmied out the window or nothing. I don't think, I, I, I don't, I don't quite picture that happening. Yeah. Hey, David Parsons, Ascending Hennessy, welcome back. Oh, just keep digging that. Just keep digging your own grave there, Chrissy. I think this is a case of falsified, manipulated documentation. That's that. Hey, I got it. Sorry, I got to hear that again. Um, I think this is a case of falsified, manipulated documentation. Falsified, manipulative documentation. That's what I think. Um, Nobody gives a rat's ass what you think. In order to think, you have to be capable of thinking. You're not. If it is possibly uh, stolen identification from back then, that's very possible too. Okay, okay. So, oh, for Christ's sake. So, somebody stole your ID, got busted, with a joint in the trailer you lived in. The same trailer you used to abuse a young lady in front of her daughter. Same address. You're saying that after they walked and were only given a summons for weed, where they, no booking photos, no mug shots, no 10 cards, that they went and paid all that money for counsel, court cost, fines, and then went to probation for a year, pissed in a cup for a year, and they did all that for you. You know what? It sounds just as dumb when I say it out loud. I'm going to agree with the DUI guy on this one. Nobody's going to fucking do that. So I'm not saying that I don't agree with that argument, potentially. Because it could have happened. Like, that is that is a, a plausible answer. What's not a plausible answer is saying that it was me because it wasn't. Yeah, it was. Yes, it was. Yes, yes, it was. Oh, my Lord. And I'm sure since he's gone and, and named you in this shit personally now, you've got to only be able to say so much. Uh, I already, of course, already told you my plan of action anyway, so, uh, I mean. True that. At this point, it's just sort of just laughing. Hmm. It's all about who gets the last laugh, I guess. There you go. Oh, that's going to be his cellmate. Uh, but um, let's see, where is it? Damn it. There we go. And Aspire 2, Michael Constant, Art Sooner 63, Michael O'Brien, and AVs and Broncos fan on behalf of my beautiful Kimmy. I would love to tell all five of them. <clears throat> Welcome to the Roughnecks. You know, you know Tay Wise View actually put a comment in there that I've thought a hundred times, and I don't know <clears throat> why that hasn't been done yet. Just. Call the ex-girlfriend. Just find her. 
that that, uh, that her, can be done. And just send her a subpoena to court and say, come on. Well, that's going to suck for you when that happens, Chris. But uh, J Dog, everybody who's been a member for four months now, said, Does this asshat actually believe he can fool a judge? Who in the hell would go to court and pretend to be him? That makes no sense. Bullshit. Yes. You're absolutely right, J Dog. And thank you for being here all this time. And uh, Tiffy Sweaty Fupa, AKA Grip Skilly Rutherford, has thrown down and gifted a fraud at Wrangler membership. And it's gone to, let's see here. It is gone to Fur Missile. Awesome. I love it when they go to family. Thank you so much, Grip Skiddly Rutherford and Brother Fur Missile. Welcome to the Roughnecks. Absolutely. But, I mean, you know, but here's what I hope happens. JJ? What's that? When he keeps running this bullshit out, he keeps costing the damn p- people of Hardin County more and more and more money for his bullshit. I truly, truly hope that the judge tax it on to his fucking fines. I mean, that's what brought him to Meade County in the first place last year. Mm-hmm. It showed up to screw with you guys to get another, get his sixth extension in Hardin County. He says that on video. Mm-hmm. I don't know why everybody else in the world should have to keep paying for his F ups. <laughs> Cause they're, a, they, believe me, his are abundant. <laughs> Zort Master for four ninety nine says, "I don't think this was Chris. That guy pled, paid fines, and showed up to court without getting into more trouble. We know Chris isn't responsible." You have the right to remain. That was good, Zort. That was good, brother. Mm-mm-mm. And I've proven that so many times at this at this point. That it- when the fuck did that happen? Did did I miss a decade or something? <laughs> Guys, can somebody anybody any Bueller Bueller anybody can somebody tell me? When 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 did he prove this? When did we miss this? Hey, Rooster Cogburn, what's shaking, my man? And Paul of Scotland for nine ninety nine says, "Hey Wrangler, hey Kimmy, hi JJ, hi Roughnecks." To try to understand his shit stain is impossible. He is too stupid to insult. Saying that, I rest my case. Well, in that case, F and A, Cotton, F and A. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. It's greatly appreciated. And then first, Jen Trucker has donated a fraud at Wrangler membership, and it went to Mm-mm-mm. There we go. All righty. First Gen Truckers donated membership has gone to Troll Media Group. Good old TNG. Thank you so very much, First Gen Trucker. It is greatly appreciated, sir. And Troll Media Group. Welcome to the Roughnecks. Unfortunate altar boy, fraud editors and soft tarts for four ninety nine says, if possible tonight, could everybody say a prayer for me tomorrow? I'm getting my brain tumor measured tomorrow. Thank you so much, Roughnecks. Absolutely, bro. Absolutely, and I think tomorrow we're gonna have a little uh, 
we're going to have a little surprise for you tomorrow. Thank you so much. And God bless you, man. If you need anything, hit me up. Hey, Coach Kruger, Miss Mayada. It's getting ridiculous. I believe the state has a habit of drawing these types of cases out forever and ever and ever and ever to try to pressure an individual into just accepting some type of plea agreement. Um, I will say this as well. If it really had been my case, I would have gladly accepted the plea agreement that they offered right off the bat. Wait, has he got new ink? Is that a new tattoo on his arm? That son of a bitch has got new ink. Mm -mm -mm -mm. He has, he's pissed off claiming that somebody stole his GoFundMes that they shut down because it was a scam. He's constantly begging people to finance his way of life so that he doesn't have to. And, but he's getting new ink. Fair enough. Fair enough. It was like, I can't remember, 30 days probation and... Uh, uh, I dare, I seriously doubt they're going to give you 30 days probation when you absconded probation for 25 years. A drug test? But what, what you do? I would have done that. You wouldn't pass it. In a heartbeat. It glow in the dark. If it were my case, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. If it's not my case, that was a hard decision for me because. Oh, okay. So you're a man of principle. He's a man of principle, JJ. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he was thinking about that principle when he's smacking all those women around in his life. Because I just wanted to end it all. I just wanted to, to get it over with. Um, so if you need any tips on how to do that, give me a call. Obviously, people, I wouldn't be pushing this. I wouldn't be, you know, paying so much money to all these attorneys. I wouldn't be going to court over and over. I wouldn't still be dealing with this. I mean, I just missed another day of work. What do you mean a day of work? You don't work. I mean, what, you managing Tiffy's OnlyFans channel? You know, this is ridiculous. Yeah, you're right. This is ridiculous. Uh, <clears throat> we paid thousands of dollars. No, 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 no. Your dumbass sheeple paid thousands of dollars. You don't have any money, remember? Wasn't that what he says every time he says, hey, we need more money from y'all? We that's need like more putting, money? That's like putting money in a broken slot machine. You never, It's never going to pay off. No. I mean, it looks like he got a new shirt. I mean, well, new for him. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, lean down, Chris. Let's see. Let's see the light off top of that head. Come on. Lean down, buddy. Show us that bald spot. In attorney fees. Thousands of dollars in attorney fees. There's no way I would have done this over a measly little single marijuana joint case no way a single marijuana joint case hmm. mm -mm -mm. hey that i would have done this if it really had been me so oh so you're saying that you're that you know you're a man of principle that if that had been you you would have stood up for it okay 
try not to do a spoiler. I don't want to spoil. I want to give it to you in the video. It's going to be an easy one. I'm not going to do really much to it. I'm just going to load it and publish it for you so that you are you guys okay with that put a one in chat if you just want to watch uh the video of us doing the zoom today put a one in chat if you're okay with that oh so you can double up wait a minute wait a minute if it's sealed if your case is sealed then how are you going to play a video of it interesting because he just said it was sealed, didn't he? Yeah. Hmm. Scott McCray for $2 says, doing natty lights and tweaking all day is not work. Damn. Hey, Chris, you just got burnt, bitch. Good one, Scott. Good one, buddy. That's that's not a bad idea, that law talk and debunking. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll ask and see, because you got to keep in mind that that woman also is one of his victims. So. And remember, Chris once put a gun to her head in front of her child. I don't think she's talking about that one. She's talking about the uh, the ninety eight marijuana <clears throat> the marijuana charge where you know there the kid was in a house there in a trailer park that he yeah. never lived at, never resisted that one. It was the same. It was the same woman. This Trixie for five dollars says he has to keep this. It wasn't me crap up because he keeps telling his subs he has never done drugs. Yeah, and that's a crock of shit. He can tell them that all day long. Cause I got yeah, I got something else that y'all are gonna want to laugh at here in just a minute. Thank you, Miss Trixie. And then you'll find out how it ends. You'll hear what's being said. Um, but I'll tell you what you can expect when you do watch it. You can expect to see, if you're wondering why I'm looking over here, it's because that's where my screen's at. I'm just looking at a little GoPro with no display. Um, so what you can expect is to see the prosecutor do what he's been doing in all of these cases where he's going. You mean prosecute you? He's saying, I got nothing. I know it's over. I know I lost. Wait, but wait. He told this to the judge or or you making this up but hey hang on a minute hang on a minute hang on a minute please listen to this let me try this thing let me try that thing don't end the case yet judge that's what he's doing it's ridiculous um that's what you can expect to see in this one too he still won't just let it go uh and he admitted to being in communication with uh the government officials for Meade county today really Really? Interesting. Is that some kind of a crime? I noticed he didn't narrow that down, that officials more than one, so. Hmm. Interesting. Curious about that one. KCAT1031, everybody, has donated a Fraud at Wrangler membership. And it has gone to Bella Baby. It's gone to Miss Bella Baby. Thank you so much, KCAT 1031. And Miss Bella Baby. Welcome to the Roughnecks. And then Glenn Harlow for 199 says, Chris's gene pool has definitely mutated. His gene pool, I don't know what happened. I... For the sake of his mother, I'm going to say that they just somehow accidentally switched her baby with Chris. That's all I can think of. Thank you, Glenn Harlow. And uh, uh, 
Uh, yes, Scott McRae, you can. Uh, I don't know which extension is, but you can call the courthouse for that. And Nova Photographics, uh, then to answer your question, uh, it's already been done. They're sending him videos and shit, trying to the, the irrelevant videos. There, there, there is no connection, guys. There's no connection between my real case that happened in Meade County in 1999 and the alleged marijuana case in 1998. Now, the real case, as you call it, in 1999. Now, is that where you beat the shit out of that woman on mm -hmm. April 3rd, Saturday, April 3rd? And then you were arrested for it on Sunday, April 4th. And then you were released out on bond on the 5th. And then you pled guilty on the 14th. That case, is that the real case you're referring to? But now, wait a minute, though. I got I to gotta throw this out there. Mm -hmm. If there's no relevance in between a 98 and a 99 case, then why did he tell all the girls in the Meade County clerk's office the day he got arrested that the reason he was there is because the judge in Hardin County for his 98 case needed the records from his non-relevant case in 99? Yeah, he said that he was there on judge's orders. Mm hmm Interesting. Oh, dude. Sir, Stuart Griffin, Esquire, El Bay, Chili's commissary fund manager for $5, says, I think Chili's cellmate should give him a prison tat of the blue line flag. <laughs> Sir Stewie, brother, you a bad man. That's, that's mean, and I love it. That's good work. Don Curtis for 199 says, doesn't the judge see through him? Well, we'll find out. Hopefully he's beginning to. Thank you very much, Miss Don Curtis. Cheshire Cat for 199 says, Why is there a blank a blankety and a pillow in the corner? That's what I was wondering when we started watching this earlier. I'm guessing that the Mrs. put him on the couch. Yes, that's right. My brother's keeper reminded me. Dumbwaiter also told the ladies in Meade County that Frankfurt sent him there. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, here's the problem is with all of, with all of, the lies that he tells every time he opens his mouth. How is anybody supposed to believe him? How is anybody supposed to trust what's true when on a daily basis he's proven wrong or he's proven a liar? However you want to word it. Thank you, CC. Winbrew for 199 says, where is Chrissy's keeper? Did she get inked? Oh, come on now. It's, it's, it's after dark. Only fans. Thank you, Miss Winbrew. And Simon Cumbria for five says, if Dumbwaiter's head gets any fatter, there won't be any room for a cellmate. That's, that's mean. Good job. I'm proud of you. Well, fuck your feelings is right. He did have insurance at the address he claimed didn't exist. But that woman stole his identity. Yeah, except it was the address that he lived at after he moved out from there. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, Mr. Camarillo. The court video from way back when that you've seen circulating the internet of me, in 1999 has nothing to do with the marijuana case in Hardin County. Those are two completely separate counties. Well, then why did you show up to Meade County 
telling the ladies in the clerk's office <laughs> that the judge ordered you to roll in there the afternoon before your fifth hearing to get documentation and get well, records. Which, you know, technically, <clears throat> technically he is right. That Me 1099 court video don't have anything to do with the 98 case. What the 1999 video does have to do with is a testimony that he gave about the 1998 case. Oh, you mean perjury? It's going to show the inconsistencies, yes. That, oh, that, 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 I'll tell you, yeah, you know, because dumbwaiter, guess what, buddy? Perjury is a felony. Okay. Um, so the Meade County officials trying to use, for some reason, and have the prosecutor in Hardin County enter video in from their courtroom completely irrelevant but oh no no actually it's not because that video is going to completely debunk what you said you testified to under oath i.e you perjured yourself Yeah. We're going to let them do it because all they're doing. You're going to let them do it? Okay. Uh, JJ. I, I can already see where all this. Whole, I can see where all this hearing and everything, it, it, the way it went and, and where it's going, how it's going to end up. Mm -hmm. I, okay. I do have one question. All right. For some reason, and have the prosecutor in Hardin County enter video in from their courtroom completely irrelevant. But we're going to let them do it. What can Dumbwaiter do to stop the judge's order? Well, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, whenever the uh, prosecuting attorney, whenever he asks the judge to admit this to evidence, he's the judge is going to obviously. One or the other, Mr. Clay or, 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 or Ryder here, they're going to object to it and, and they're going to say relevance. And then Mr. Moore, the prosecuting attorney, he's going <clears> to <throat> have to explain that this video has been brought to light. It's the original 1990, 1999 case in Mee County and that it shows that the testimony Mr. Ryder gave at the last hearing uh, was not truthful. And then the judge makes a ruling on that and yay or nay, which obviously by them saying we're going to allow it in that other words the judge ordered it <laughs> in, in, in other ways in other words getting through all the word salad that means the judge ordered it and there's nothing we can do about it and there is a pretty good reason to be nervous about that video i would be and if i was in those shoes knowing the testimony i give and it's been replayed back and so on and so forth i'd be nervous about that video uh-huh uh, oh, absolutely and maybe that's and, why and, she's making his bitch ass sleep on the couch is because she's tired of changing his diapers and 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 you know really i mean and I, and i'm not trying to play the and the devil's advocate here but on the flip side of this all this started over really a joint and yeah, some paraphernalia or whatever a little bit of pot yeah. so sure have one a long ways over you know i mean but unfortunately for him He, he keeps making it worse. And I still, I still think that there is a way to make it all right. Yeah, your honor, I'm, I'm guilty. Uh, I think there's some other resolves, but going down, going down this path, not going to happen. No, no, because... At the end of the day, all he's doing is getting himself more time in the long run. That's all he's doing is getting himself more time. But, hey, he's going to do whatever he's going to do. If there's anything that we've learned, dumbwaiter is too stupid to, uh, to listen to anybody else. But I promise y'all guys, this is really this 
11 minutes I've put y'all through is going to be really worth it in a minute because y'all are going to see some funny shit. But, you know, on the flip side of this, I think another great example of that is, was it Friday or was it Saturday night? KY Reacts kind of had the same same option. Yeah. And, and, and which option did he choose? Well, he didn't. He went with what would be the, I guess you'd say, the correct option. He backed down. Well, so I do know a few of them in the chat, they'll be happy. Betting Jesus, Zork Master, Scott McCray. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Because hmm. all they're doing is uh, embarrassing themselves and digging a hole deeper. <laughs> so. Uh, Who's digging a hole deeper again? Um, we're letting them dig, dig their holes, apparently. Um, Tell me, what can you do to stop the prosecution from doing their job? But in that, they continue the case. I don't understand why we're not just dropping this case. Like oh, yeah, the true frauditor comes out in him. The true frauditor comes out, guys. Wait, well, is there a victim? Well, there's no victim, then why aren't we pursuing it? It is what it is. It's ridiculous. It wasn't me. So, um, yeah, because your word is just so good. There is no. Um, good night, unfortunate altar boy. There is no result yet. Uh, I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to spoil the video for you. Um, I don't I can't give you any result of the the end of the case at this point in time in in the video you're watching of me right now. And why is that? We're going to wait until you see it for yourself. So, um, I'm going to go with bullshit. There's not even an end that you can talk about, or there, there, there is no end yet. So you can't even direct anybody in that direction. So what end? Exactly. He's stretching it out to the next video. Is all he's doing. He's promising them he's going to have all this bullshit for him, but he's not going to. Oh, my Lord. Huh. GYST122 has thrown down a $1.99 super sticker, and we thank them for it. Very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. And then Creighton Rabs has been a member for 10 months now. Wow. Says, um, Chrissy, there are a lot of things you don't understand. It would take an entire live stream to identify the things that you don't understand. Uh, not to put too fine a point on it, Creighton Rabs, but it would take the length of the live stream it would take to explain that to what he doesn't understand to him would be like when Jeremiah got arrested last year while live streaming. That would take a while. But thank you for being here, Creighton Rabs. Uh, Trevor Audit, KY Reacts took down all of his GoFundMes. Uh, that being said, I am going to hop off of here and get to working on a video while I have the rest of the day off work. Uh, Dude, drinking Natty Light and slapping a woman around is not work. Um, and I've also got a video on the uh, Meade County case, the other case that explains everything i believe it explains everything i'm going to do my best to explain everything with facts on that video but but you have to realize people watching you have to realize meat county is over here it's one case all by itself which is now two cases because there's a current need but it's still mead meads over here hardin county's over here oh, i only have one thing right. in hardin county that stems all the way back to this 
fictitious case from 1998. Over here in Meade, I'm suffering nothing but damages because the government officials over there just keep on attacking us. They they have an old case that they're using against me from 1999. That was real. And then they're cherry picking records and not just publishing them on the internet, not just giving them to, to troll channels to publish on the internet, but they're also trying to discredit me and make me look bad by cherry picking portions of a video that I'm going to show you guys the whole video. That's what I'm going to do. What do you think of that, Tiff? I'm going to show my audience the whole record that's right. available. <laughs> you like that? Because you've only seen this much of a whole record from, and we're talking about Meade County here. The, I hope everybody's ready to go back to the 80s. <laughs> yeah, and you're going to see, uh, I'm not happy with the way I looked back then either, but, but it's funny because when I'm watching the courtroom video, everybody looks silly like I did. Like we just, we were silly people in the late 90s. Human beings were. <laughs> Oh, you weren't? Were you a cool kid? You were you were young, <laughs> like super young. How oh, high are you right now, think Chris? About. Like 90, how old were you in 98? I'm sorry, 99. <laughs> 99? I think I was getting ready to go in high school. Oh, she would have been a little high schooler. <laughs> so, and I had just graduated. I had just graduated in 99 because I graduated. He's saying that he just graduated in 99. I graduated in 99. I am four years younger than you, you fat ass. You didn't graduate in 99. You dropped out in what? 96? <laughs> he graduated in 99. Wow, math skills like these, is it any wonder he runs a failing construction business? No shit, man. Graduated in the year 96. So, yeah, I was only three years out of, out of school. All right, guys. Uh, I mean, since you dropped out of school. I'd look for a couple videos coming up. What'd you think about? I used the GoPro for this. Is, is yes. it working pretty good? Looks I, like the picture's good. I honestly didn't even know that you were live because I was finishing up my thing that I was creating. See how much that she keeps up and involved, guys? I have my notifications <laughs> off. <laughs> There's a hell of a delay, though, between this and the actual feed. It's like a three-second delay. All right, you guys. I love you all so much. Can you come say hi? Love y'all. Come stick your pretty face in here for a moment. It ain't pretty today. We're going to do a goodbye together for you guys. Get ready to go outside. Yeah. Get real close. Ooh, Love you guys. <laughs> Good God. I don't even know what to say about that, JJ. I mean, <laughs> um, let's see. I mean, we're... I don't think you really have to say much. <laughs> and, and, and there's nobody I don't think in the chat or watching that you and that you really have to convince. I mean, I I think they already know. Yeah. Uh, Gyst one twenty two for five dollars says, if Chris doesn't get any time for what he's done, I will seriously lose faith in our justice system. I agree. I agree a hundred percent. Thank you, my friend. I can't wait. I can't wait for the videos though. All the videos. Oh, I know are, it's gonna be fantastic. That nobody nobody else has. Yeah. Miss Edie Marie has been a member for 11 months now and says, got them low down defamatory first floor blues. That's nice. That's good. That's good, Miss Edie Marie. Scott Furman for 199. So he was legal age to drink in 1999. Uh he would have been right around there. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Scott. Nerd Girl Jen's World for $4.99. Holy frosted tips, Batman. The just for me and hair gel has seriously gotten to what he has left of a brain. <laughs> Damn, Chris, that sucks for you that the ladies over here have noticed that you went and 
you went and hit the Dollar General today, didn't you? Thank you, Nerd Girl Jen's World. Well, yeah, James Conway. Of course, they'll have. They would have to be younger. Younger ones don't know any better. Well, good point, Chris McDonald. But uh, it's it's ridiculous, bro. And uh, anyway, guys, I do apologize. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this up because I'm going to get a hot shower and I'm getting back in the bed. And uh. I want to thank all of you for being here. And like I said, I was hoping we'd have some better news out of that idiot today, but you know, it is what it is, but he can't keep running forever. JJ. Oh, I, I agree. And I mean, for, for a missile, you hit the nail on the head over in the chat. These videos not going to happen. No. And I got, and, and I happen to know for a fact that neither the judge nor the prosecutor mentioned J.J. Scarborough, period. There is no judge, there's no officer of the court coming after J.J. So it's just all there is to it. For one thing, J.J. hasn't done anything wrong, legally or morally. Period. You know what? I, you know what? I tell you what. I gotta. I actually gotta go to E Town. Maybe Friday. I might go Thursday instead. I might actually. Uh, as long as they don't mind, I actually might. Uh, I actually might make us a video to watch one of those nights. I might actually just go visit all these offices over there and just have a chat with them. And as long as they don't mind me recording it, I'll just make us a video to watch. I'll just clear up all that. All that word salad gossip. How's that sound? Miss Lisa Wade, how are you doing? And did you hear any of that, Ranger? Yeah, I heard every oh, bit okay. of it. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, Miss Lisa Wade's dealing with a lot of that. Uh, I firefighter. I don't know if if dumb waiters got one. It's because he he screen recorded it earlier. But I uh, I happen to know that nobody nobody made a request to the judge to uh, release that. So if he goes and he releases. Him screen recording that Zoom hearing earlier today without permission, his ass can go in for contempt. Whether it's Zoom or well, whether it's di whether it's distance or you're sitting in that damn gallery, it does not matter. That video being released, if it is not properly FOIA'd, has to be done with the judges okay. I guarantee you he didn't get it. And it is what it is. But, uh, hmm. But I like uh, your idea, bro. Well, thank you, Ranger. Have a good night. Get some sleep. Yeah. Everybody else have a fantastic night. And I'm sorry it's been a short one tonight. Uh, but I will see y'all tomorrow. Thank you, JJ. All right. See you guys. No, for our hanging on our illegal channel. I got rights. Yeah. Help, help, help. This is obstruction. There's a crime afoot. And of course, there's always. Here we go. Fuck you, JJ. <laughs> but uh, no, I do appreciate it. And I hope everybody has a fantastic evening. And it's Wrangler. I'm out of here. I love y'all. Have a good.